Hey everybody, so I've been given the pleasure of giving some education to the whole league regarding injuries. I'm a physical therapist, as some of you guys know, and I'm really excited to be able to give you guys some information regarding injury prevention, also how you could uh, take a situation that might be bothering you and maybe even look at it differently. Um, I was asked to do this quickly, so it's on a smartphone and uh, I'm just going to fire away some good information. One of the things I get questioned a lot in the league is hamstring issues and leg issues. So one of the things I've found through my work in physical therapy is that a lot of hamstring issues are related to a weakness in the hamstring. And the hamstring isn't necessarily something that we always want to stretch. It's good to stretch a hamstring, but if you're going to stretch a hamstring, you got to make sure it's stronger as well. So a lot of guys who are running through the bases, um, if they have really stretched out uh, calf muscles, their hamstrings are typically going to be tighter. So you see people stretching out their calves before before uh, playing ball, and then they, they really stretch out their hamstrings as well. But once that happens is that between the two of them, one of them is going to be a little weaker. So what we find is that it could be right leg versus left leg. So it's very important when you're at the gym to make sure you're doing your hamstring curls. A lot of guys would do a lot more squats and a lot more leg press, and that will help create a lot more quad strength. Uh, they're definitely, with the leg press, you get the hamstring strength in it, but you got to identify and isolate the hamstring muscle group and the calf muscle group. So those are endurance kind of muscles and stabilizing muscles, especially the hamstring. Although the hamstring is one of the most powerful muscles in the body, because it helps support the posterior, the back of your body, it has to be very strong and very flexible at the same time. So anytime you go to stretch a hamstring out, just keep in the back of your mind that you have to strengthen your hamstring as well. Um, and it's very important for your hamstring muscles to be stabilized because when you're swinging, uh, your hip is rotating quite a bit. So when your hip's rotating and the hamstring is not strong, it creates a lot of extra work in your hamstring. So a lot of times you see guys swing, hit the ball, start to run after they've torqued through their swing and use all their power through their hips. And their hamstring muscles aren't up to speed and they'll get a weakness or a pull in their hamstring muscle hitting first base or running down the line. Um, it's oftentimes just because the hamstring muscle isn't strong enough to support the body.